Okay, in this video, I just wanna answer a couple of your questions. Let's go. Okay, question one was from my man Thomas, okay? I did this uh, stick drill with a nine iron and it's just about starting the ball online and he just was asking me, would that work with a driver? And I'll kind of show you what we're talking about. I'll put a link to that video right up here, the nine iron. And he was asking if that would work for drawing and fading the ball. And I would say, and it does work. It's very effective. You break more sticks that way but it does work. So what I would do, I would line this up straight in line, right in line with my ball, okay? Like, boom, I'm going right, I'm going right there. And now I'm gonna work it to the left or to the right, your choice. And I'm gonna really aim left now and try to cut it back to the stick would be how I do it. Now, I don't like practicing draws, to be honest. I hit a draw most of the time, but I just don't like to practice it. Same rule, I'm just gonna aim far right and try to work it back around the stick. Pretty good, you get the idea, right? So yes, you can use it for your driver, just expect to break more sticks. I get these at Home Depot. Okay, there was a guy, Keith, um, something or other, and we were talking about, you know, breaking par and shooting in the 70s. Now, I believe anybody can do it. Now, he didn't believe it. So, look, if you don't believe you're going to do it, you're probably not going to do it anyway. So, there's probably not much hope. But you got to believe. I believe you can do it. You just have to believe you can do it. But here's, he said you had to um, work on your game. Yeah, that's true, you do. You, you got to uh, get properly fit. That's not true. You don't need to. You, you, you should, but you don't need to shoot in the 70s to get properly fit. You just don't. And... He said you had to take lessons. No! As a matter of fact, I recommend you don't take lessons. You just need a coach to help you get through the process so you know what to do when you go practice. Someone telling you all this, you know, nitty gritty of your golf swing isn't going to help you get any better. They fix one thing, they ruin three others. So you're just constantly in a state of unhappiness and frustration. You do drills, that gets you better. That corrects your swing. You will develop a proper swing for you. And what's good for you might not be good for me and vice versa. So, but the drills will help you find that out and get you where you need to be and where you wanna be. But first things first, you have to believe in you, okay? You hang around me, you're gonna start believing in you. So st stick, stick with me. Okay, last question. My man, what's his name? Warbird by racer, some warbird play on racer. I don't know. All right, here's what he said. He gets his driver, and he says he pull when he pulls his head out, he tops the ball. But if he looks at the ball when he hits, he can't. He doesn't know where his ball goes because he can't see it. We're gonna help you with that right now, buddy. We're gonna help you. I'm gonna show you what to do. Okay, I've done this drill a lot, and I call it hit with your ear. You're actually probably not pulling your head, and that's causing you to top the ball. That's not the case. You're prop, most likely, you're pulling your body. You're pulling your body. That's why you top it, because you come up out of it with your body, not your head. Your head, you could look like this and hit the ball all day long. You really can. Annika Sorensen, I mean, she was like this, and, and she was pretty good. A lot of players are doing that even today, okay? So, it happens, in my opinion, with your setup, okay? If you set up too bent over, if you're too bent over when you're set up, you have nowhere to go but up and out, up and out. So we wanna set up more like a, a Ben Hogan, butt under your shoulders, set up more upright, so you can come down, you can look, you look. I want you to turn that head. Turn the head, turn the, turn the shoulders, right? You're gonna, you're gonna be here. That's how you're gonna hit it, like that, okay? But you're gonna start with your butt under your more. So this is no good. Get that up here. Get that butt under, get it, get it under. There you go, right there. 
So now I can come down and turn and you won't have a problem. When I hit, boom, I'm here. And you'll see the ball. I call it hitting with your ear, because you hear it. Oh, it's a lot louder in your, in your ear. You just hear. But you have to start out a little more with your butt under you, so that if your butt's back, you're gonna, you're gonna thrust it under, and you're gonna come out and you lose your spine angle. So start with your butt a little more under you, so then you can rotate, stay down, head up. Okay, try it, try it. It's gonna take a little practice. You could turn that head, you'll see where your ball goes. Good luck to you, my man. Thanks for watching this video. Hope I help your game in some way, shape, or form. Keep those questions coming, comment below. Let me know what you need. Well, I'm here for you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Oh, hey, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Come on, what are you waiting for? Let's go. And thank you to the, those of you who do. I appreciate it. Rock on.